Hey guys, it's Liz from Eating Vegan Simplified. Today, I'm going to make my version of Chinese food with cauliflower, and it's called orange cauliflower. So it's like a sticky orange cauliflower. So um, I have a, a pan here with a little bit of oil, and this is some cabbage that I sort of shredded up, and also some carrots. So I'm gonna go ahead and just saute that for a couple of minutes. So maybe you might want to get in the pan so we could see what I'm doing here. So this is just some um, cabbage and carrots. So I just want to try to get it soft, maybe just for, um, I don't know, two or three minutes, something like that. And um, I used one carrot and I also used just like sort of just a little piece of, of cabbage. I don't want it to be overwhelmed with cabbage, but I just wanted to add another veggie into this um, into this dish. So I'm just gonna let it kind of do its thing for a little bit. Um, and then I've also taken a cauliflower and I have um, just broken it up into florets and took away any green that was on the outside and everything. So I like to do the prep before you get here so that you don't have to you know, waste your time and kind of see prep. Okay, this is actually, um, sort of good now, so they, they can see. They don't care about me so much. They want to see the food. So you can see it's soft, and it's, um, you know, you can kind of see it's, it's breaking down in color, and, you know, you don't want it to be soggy. You just want it to be cooked a little bit. So it is. I'm going to go ahead and put it into a bowl and just kind of set it aside. So let me do that. It's a hot pan, so I better use this thing. So I'm just going to set it aside and just have it um, ready to go for when we need it and we want to add it later on, okay? So here it is. Put it in the bowl. Okay, good enough. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> He's very impressed with cabbage and, and carrots in a bowl. Don't be so impressed because then people will think you're impressed with everything. Okay. I am going to, in the meantime, turn on this pan and get it hot, okay, um, while I am coming over here. And you're going to see what I'm going to do over here, okay? So I have um, just a bowl, and I have um, some flour and some cornstarch, and I'm going to add that into this bowl. And this is going to be my batter, okay? And um, I'm going to put the measurements, so don't worry about the measurements for the moment, but if, you know, they're going to be... Um, underneath this video where I'm going to put everything. So all the measurements and the recipe and everything will be under there. Let me get my mixing thing. So I'm just going to kind of mix this up and I'm going to add some water. So the amount of water is, I would say, um, I want to make a thick batter. So you could always add more, but you really can't take it away. You know, if you end up putting in too much, don't panic. You could just add some more flour, okay? So there's, it's always fi fixable, so you don't have to worry. This is a little bit too thick. I want to be able to have it be enough where I could put the cauliflower in it and coat it, but not too thick where I, I can't, and not too thin where it's just all going to fall off. So you want to make a thick batter. Hopefully, are you getting, you're in here, right? So they can see the, the batter. It's, you want it to be a thick batter. I'm just going to put just a little bit more. So you're going to have to kind of work with it. And like I said, just add a very little bit at a time. If you, you know, go, oops, I added too much. Don't worry, just add a little bit more flour, okay? So this is just flour, cornstarch, and a little bit of salt. So it, this seems like the consistency I want it to be because I could coat something with it. So this is a good consistency. Try to get it to this. You know, it's never going to be an exact science, so don't even sweat it, okay? So as you see, I put on the oil, so the oil is getting hot, and while it's getting hot, I am putting this cauliflower in a batter. I'm going to try to do it quickly so that you don't have to be bored with watching me put cauliflower in batter. Or maybe this is something you love to watch, in which case, you're welcome. Um, okay, here we go. So I'm trying to do like two at a time so it goes a little bit quicker. Um, okay, so here's some more. And we'll get this all going. 
and then we'll put it in the oil and we'll cook it. And then the next thing I'm going to show you after that is going to be the sauce that we're going to put on it. Okay. So the important thing is when it's done, um, when it's crispy after I take it out of the pan, I want to keep it crispy, crispy, not crispy, crispy until um, my sauce is done. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that too. Okay. So there we go. This is this didn't take so long. It probably took enough time to get um, to get hot oil because now my oil will be hot enough. So I'm not even going to take this out of the bowl. I'll just put it in there right from the bowl. So let me wash my hands a little bit. They're kind of yucky. Okay. And now we're going to go back over to the pan. Okay. And I'm going to add these into the oil. And it's going to be hot. And we're just going to keep them in there for just a little bit and get them crispy. And they're going to turn like brown and crispy. And so I have a very big pan, which is good. If you don't have a big pan, then do it in more than one batch. You know, if you want them all to be touching the bottom of the pan, because um, if they're not, then they will not get crispy. So here we go. Put them in the bottom. So I did one cauliflower, and if you have a big family and you want to do more, then do cook two cauliflowers. And this actually was not a very giant cauliflower. It was kind of a smaller on the smaller side. So uh, this is really perfect for us. But if you have a big family, you might want to double the recipe. Sometimes, if it's going to get too splattery, I have this thing, which I just put on to keep it from uh, killing me and getting burning me. Okay, so we're going to keep this going. Um, and I don't want it to burn, so I'm going to check it in just a minute here and then start flipping over and you'll be able to see what I'm doing there. I'm getting these dishes out of the way. Okay. So let's see how they're doing. So maybe you could get in the um, pan. So you can see, if I turn it over here, it's just a little bit brown. It's really not brown enough. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to turn it back and get it um, to try to get crispier. But it's going to happen pretty fast. So there, there's a fine line between being crispy enough and being burned. Okay. I'm going to take this out. So I'm going to use this. Once I get it um, crispy, I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to stick it in the oven while I'm working on while I'm working on the. Um, he forgot that he was filming. He just thought I was talking to him. Uh, while I'm working on the sauce, okay, let's look in here again. So you can see it's starting to get a little bit brown. Let me show you. Okay. I'm just going to kind of flip it around and let it, let it get fried. Okay, so um, there you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it keep going some more. But afterwards, anyway, I'm gonna put it in this glass um, seal and stick it in the oven. So then when I'm working on the um, on the sauce, it'll stay crispy. So I like to do this because um, I like Chinese food. I'm gonna serve it with rice, and you could serve it with other things like uh, vegetable pot stickers or. Uh, you know, vegetable buns or something like that. Mm. Uh, bok choy mm. is nice. You want to saute some bok choy with some garlic or something. You know, there's a lot of nice side dishes you could do with this. Um, or you could just make a bowl and just put everything in a bowl. So that, that's okay, too. Um, okay, let's see how this is doing. Okay. I think while this is going, I'm going to get my pan. And this is the pan that I use for the um, for the cabbage. So I'm going to use it again, and I am going to do my sauce in here. So I am going to add just a little bit of oil, and I'll put a measurement in the recipe because I know that that's what people say is what's the measurement. So I will give you one, and I am going to put 
some garlic and ginger and get that cooking. So this is some minced garlic and this is some ginger. So let's go in the pan so they can see. Okay. So this is minced garlic and ginger. I'm just starting that going, okay, while I'm working on this. And if you're not comfortable doing two things at once, then, you know, you could finish the cauliflower before you uh, start the sauce. I'm just kind of doing it to try to save some time and not take up too much of your valuable time in watching me make this. So, um, it's getting there. Okay, so this is done. I'm going to just saute that garlic and um, ginger for just a couple of minutes, okay? And um, this is just minced garlic and some ground ginger. If you don't have ground ginger, you have fresh ginger, that's okay. You could use that as well. Fresh is always wonderful, so if you have that. So we're going to try to build a sauce here. Um, the other thing I'm going to add is I, I um, zested an orange. And so I'm going to add the orange zest. This is the zest of one orange. And I'm going to saute that in as well. So maybe you could go in the pan and, and get what I'm doing in here. Okay. And um, then I am going to put some vegetable broth. And this is three-quarter cup vegetable broth. And let that kind of do it. Let's look over here. This is just about ready to go. See, look, it's getting all brown and good. This is how I want it to be. You know, if you like it more brown, then, then keep going. You know, and you can keep it in. I'm going to take it out, personally. I, I think it's good enough. Okay, so let me put it in this. And then I am going to... I'll uh, put it in the oven just so it can stay crispy. Meanwhile, my sauce is, is happening over here. It's developing. I have so far some vegetable broth, some orange zest, some ginger, and some garlic in there. So that's starting my sauce. It's the last one. Okay. And the reason I'm doing this is to um, keep it crispy. And we want it to be crispy and not soggy. I'm going to put it right in the oven, and it will continue to cook a little bit in there. I preheated an oven to 350. It's only going to be in there for a very short time, though. This sauce is going to happen pretty quick. It's actually a pretty quick um, recipe. So, okay. there we go. Ha, ha, ha. All right, good enough. Here, one more. Okay, so I'm going to stick this in the oven. Here we go. Oven is nice and hot, so it will stay crispy. Okay, so let's come back over here. What I'm going to add next is I'm going to add some sugar, and you can see it's boiling now. So here's some sugar, and um, this is a half a cup of fresh orange juice that I squeezed, and some sriracha. If you don't like sriracha, don't put it in. I like I like sriracha. It's not, to me, it's not very spicy, but it, it adds a little spice, and I think it needs, in my opinion, I like it like that. And some soy sauce. And again, the measurements will be underneath. So we'll just let that happen for a second when we get rid of these dishes. We're actually almost done. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper while this is, I'm waiting for this to boil. So now once it boils, then I'm going to want to make it a little bit thicker um, because I need a little bit of a thicker sauce. And so how I'm going to do that is I have some cornstarch and water. This is like two um, tablespoons of cornstarch and some water and just to make like a thin paste which is what I have here, and this will thicken up the sauce, but I'm waiting for it to boil before I do it. It's starting to boil now, you could see that, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it in slowly, and while I'm pouring it, I'm gonna constantly mix, okay? And this is how you thicken up sauce. And cornstarch is a thickener, so that's what it does. 
So this is just pretty much an orange ginger sauce. It's very yummy, really. Okay. There it is. I don't know if you could see, but it's thicker. See how it's the consistency of this? It's not so watery. And the more it cooks, the thicker it, it will get. Okay. So now I'm going to put back my uh, cabbage and carrots. Get that all into this sauce. And finally, you know the cauliflower I just put in the oven? I'm taking it back out. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, now we're gonna put that in. Just stir it up. And I'll kind of let this cook for um, just a few minutes, just to kind of combine everything, get everything, you know, combined in the sauce with the veggies. And it is crispy. I feel like the hardness on the outside of the um, cauliflower, so that's nice. And I'm going to get. I have some brown rice, and I'm going to put it over the brown rice. So you can see this wasn't really very hard, right? I mean, there was some steps involved, but you could do it. Just take your time. You could definitely do this. And it's super hot. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. And then, on top of this, I have diced up some green onion that my husband, who's filming this, grew in the backyard. Um, so we're going to dice that up. And then I'm going to put some sesame seeds on. So do your own variation, you know. If you don't have a certain vegetable that I'm telling you to use, then use a different one. You know, it doesn't have to be just like this. But this is the one I made, and so give it a try. I hope you like it. Orange cauliflower. Make Chinese food at home, why not? And like I said, the recipe will be right underneath the, um, the video, also the subscribe button. So make sure you hit subscribe because I have new recipes all the time. I don't want you to miss any. And so happy cooking, enjoy.